One, I'm having a single M&M that bothers you. See ya, Carolyn. Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight I wanted to react to this video with you guys. It's regarding the relationship between Without a Crystal Ball and her followers and subscribers. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys. So yesterday I posted a video Thursday. It was yesterday, Thursday, whenever you guys are watching this reviewing the chestnut praline latte. I really liked it, spoiler alert, but I referred to this video in that video, but I really wanted to watch this with you guys for a second time because I think what the big takeaway here is, it really shines a light on how vital the relationship between a YouTube creator and their subscribers is. I want to share a couple thoughts before we watch the video together. This might sound like a broken record to some of my subscribers who have been with me for a while. I consistently talk about how appreciative I am and I might go above and beyond and I am not saying that I am better than other YouTubers because I acknowledge my subscribers all of the time. But what I am saying is I think that there should be a common respect between the creator and the subscriber. After all, your subscribers are the ones paying your bills, paying your car bill, putting food on your table, putting a roof over your head, quite literally. So it is important that they're treated with respect. The way that I view subscribers is that these are all individual people who have made a decision that they have come across one of my videos and they made the very direct decision to subscribe to me so that they don't lose me in the world of YouTube creators. There's so many videos being uploaded every day on this platform. When someone chooses to subscribe, that means they want to put a bookmark on your channel. They wanna see what's next. They wanna see what else you're up to. And that's important to me. I also look at subscribers as, you know, I'll relate this to the corporate world because as many of you know, I have a full-time job. I look at my subscribers as sort of like my management team because not only do they sometimes keep you in check when you need to maybe be reeled in, but they also are in charge of saying, does this person deserve to have a role at our firm? Do they deserve to be promoted? Do they deserve to be... Um, you know, pat on the back when they're doing a good job or do they deserve to have everyone leave them and be fired? So I think it's really important. And what I have seen in this video, watching it one time in its entirety, is that Katie Joy really shows how much she doesn't give a f about her subscribers or her followers, in my personal opinion. I said this in my BX Beast Boy video that I did a few weeks ago. If you wanna know how a, sub, how a YouTuber really acts, don't just follow them on YouTube. Follow their Twitter, follow their Instagram. Um, I'm not gonna say go on like Patreon or anything because I have all different views on you know paid member programs. I do think that they can be worth it if you're giving the people something different than what they're seeing on YouTube. That's really here nor there. But if you really wanna know what their personality is like, you can't just follow them on one platform. I've seen with a lot of YouTubers that they do their best to put their most positive attitude on YouTube, and then you see them being wild as fuck on Twitter or Instagram. So if it's someone that you genuinely care about and you wanna make sure that you're supporting the right kind of people, follow them on more than one platform. So we're gonna watch this video together for the second time. Some of you might have already seen it, but I'm gonna watch it and I will insert comments as needed and we'll get through this together. Oh, and by the way, this is on the EKC People Suck YouTube channel. I will link her channel down below. I believe her name is Erin. She was on a uh, live stream with Lil Red I believe her name is Erin. I hope I have that correct, but I'll link her channel down below. If you're interested in any of her videos, go show her some love 
and you can check out the other videos that she has on Katie Joy. I can't cancel people. I don't hold that power. I'm just, I am always a victim, lead dirt, dust. What do you think? Do you think I deserved to have um, some lady call Austin 40 times and leave threats? She is steady blocking people. It's so funny how as soon as someone is not in her echo chamber, you're blocked. It doesn't matter if you give her a super chat, if it's just a harmless question, you're blocked, you're out of here. It's the most ridiculous way I've ever seen YouTuber run their channel, to be really honest. Just to not be able to take criticism at all, but dish it out on a daily basis to children, families, adults, everyone in between. You can be criticized and I'll dig up dirt on your whole family, but as soon as you come to me with a question or a concern that might not be something that I necessarily want to address, you'll just be blocked. And she definitely loves, right there she admitted, I'm always the victim. That is her way of life on YouTube. As soon as the seat gets hot or she feels uncomfortable, it's that she's being bullied. Go watch my channel on trolls versus critics. I did a little car chats this past week because it just reiterates that there is a vast difference between trolls and critics. She lumps them all into their trolls. They're just haters. Everyone's out to get Katie Joy, and we all know that's just not the truth. This is why you stay quiet. Yeah, you're sounding more and more like a troll here. And I'm Again, you're sounding more and more like a troll here. I don't know what that person was asking, but they were probably just coming with some fair criticism or some questions or a concern, and she automatically calls you a troll and you're blocked. I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. Oh. I think you guys are all just like really cooped up and I have to go. All of this is going to an attorney. All of it. All of it. Hundreds of screenshots. Hundreds of screenshots. Dozens of videos. You know what can happen. I'm not gonna quit YouTube. What I am gonna do is get this information to my attorney. We're going to run the metadata. We're gonna figure out who posted everything. We'll know. Everything will be traced. Everything will be traced, guys. This is <laughs> so ridiculous. Think of the people who found her because they liked commentary on the Duggars. Y'all know how I feel about the Duggars. I think they're boring. But let's just say that someone found her because of the Duggars and because of her consistent uploads, they decided to stick around. And then just a few weeks into it, they jump into a few live streams and they have to deal with her being bitchy to everybody, blocking people, ignoring questions, uh, not being grateful when she gets super chats. I mean, can you imagine? Like, I, I would immediately leave. Um, but you guys don't get to tell me um, that I need to grow up. You don't get to tell me how I get to respond to what was done to me. You don't get to dictate how I feel about things. You don't get to tell me that I need to uh, stop being so dramatic. You don't get to dictate my feelings. So if you don't wanna be following me, don't. This is me pointing out the hypocrisy Nobody gets to tell her how to feel. Nobody gets to tell her how to deal with her emotions. Here's the thing. If once in a while you go onto Instagram or YouTube and you vent to your subscribers, like those are your people. With her, it's a pattern of behavior and it's the consistent being bitchy. You know, I'm a victim. I have trolls. Everyone's a hater. It's that repeated behavior that starts to get really obnoxious. And I could be wrong, but that is probably the point where people come forward and say, can you please stop talking about this? Like, we're just here for your commentary and you're over here having a meltdown every night. Like saying that, you know, there's an army of trolls after you. As, as a viewer, that would get mentally and emotionally exhausting for me. And... 
you know, there's been a lot of people that have gotten onto YouTube because of the lockdown and everything over the past six or seven months. And if I'm seeking out a YouTube channel for entertainment, say maybe I live alone and I'm looking for someone's videos to help me get through the day so I feel less alone, and you find Katie Joy and then you discover this is who she is, I would be let down and I would probably tell her how I feel. But your feelings don't matter, even though you pay her bills, you'll be blocked. Why do I entertain this? Because these people have been in my inbox for two days. Oh, American sister, my channel loves spreading shit and that's not okay, then don't watch. Nobody's trying to make you be. Why do you entertain this? Because they've been in my inbox for two days. She likes to fester on little things and make them really big situations. I don't know what she's been through because I am not her, but I will say she strikes me as the type of person to take one bad email and make that out to be a Twitter war and everyone's after me kind of deal. I could be wrong, but that's what I would gather. Tina, I'll cut you. Cheshire has never talked about your son, nor have I. Keep lying, you are digging a hole. Tina, I'll cut you. You need to get a hobby. You need to find a job. And you need to, like, worry about, you know, not getting a defamation lawsuit for all the crap you've said about me. Like, <clears throat> Tina, I'll cut you. She runs the um, Without a Freaking Clue Facebook page. Yeah, also, which was... So here's the thing with these Facebook groups and stuff that she always likes to mention. I'm sure that there have been maybe one or two groups out there who have really just been spreading hate about her, let's be real. However, all of these people that unite and have a similar opinion about Katie Joy is because she's the common denominator in stirring all this shit, in lying and being mean to her subscribers and going on Twitter rampages and constantly you know, being a hypocrite. Like, these people aren't just bored and coming for Katie Joy. Let's be real. Like, she doesn't have a platform the size of a lot of these other YouTubers where people could be bored and picking them apart instead. She is the common denominator and people have figured out her lies and her bullshit and they get together and talk about it. Those aren't necessarily trolls in my opinion. So <clears throat> please report this group. And then she's telling people to report this Facebook group. Just because people get together and have an opinion about you, you can't just shut them down. That's just not how the world works and I don't think Frankly, she understands or gives a damn about that. We know that she throws around defamation, lawsuits, uh, shutting down, reporting, all of these things on a consistent basis. People are allowed to have an opinion. Why don't you stop lying and maybe people won't have as much to talk about? And if you are not, in, if you're in that group and you're, you don't want to get into criminal trouble, please leave that group. People in this group that are constantly screenshotting all the illegal activities that you're doing in this group every day. We have so... Having an opinion is not an illegal activity, Katie. Hate to break the news to you, but people are allowed to have an opinion. And like I said, you are the common denominator in these situations. There's not that many people that have a problem with a single person if that single person hasn't continually f***ed up. I'm having one, I'm having a single M&M that bothers you. See ya, Carolyn. God forbid. Don't ever watch a mukbang. Okay, so this clip right here with the M&Ms, I wanna talk about this for a second. Caroline, is her name. She actually wrote an open letter to Katie Joy because she was a really hardcore supporter. She was one of the people who would um, support Katie not only by watching her videos, but 
other monetary support by buying merchandise or giving super chats. She has autism, and I don't want to give her story. I want you guys to listen to it from her, but because of her autism, the sounds of those crunching candies were triggering for her. And not to mention, like, if you want to eat candy, like, do that shit after the live stream. Like, I don't know, maybe some people don't care about stuff like that, but I kind of look at it like, just do it before or after. Like, nobody wants to hear your crunching. Even when I'm doing, like, a Starbucks review or if I'm drinking in my car, I will mute the mic when I'm drinking or cut that sound out because y'all don't need to hear me gulping. Like, it's just weird. Either way, for Katie to lash out when all that Caroline said was that it was distracting for her and this is the reaction that you receive is very blatant to me. This is a YouTuber who does not give a about their subscribers or about their subscribers' feelings. Do any of you care that I've had a bad day? Does it bother you so much that I have to play with my hair after I've had a terrible day and this is literally the one thing that's calming me down right now? Well, the funny thing is with the playing with the hair, here's the double-sided coin with Katie. She wants to be considered an investigative journalist, but she also wants to like twirl her hair and eat M&Ms and crunch and bite her nails on camera you can't have both. We already know you're not a, you know, investigative journalist. So what, what are we going to call that? Like, like what is that form of reporting? Someone who fiddles with their hair and does all of this, you know, stuff on camera. When I watch the news at night or when I watch anything else, I don't see reporters doing that kind of stuff. Tell Robin to go take another shot of her tequila. And when you keep asking about my drinking, you actually are trolling, so. There we go. Asking about her drinking is not trolling. Raising a cause for concern is not trolling. This is so ridiculous that someone comes to her with a concern and says something and she's like, tell Robin to go drink her tequila. And then based on her hand motions, in my opinion, it looked like she blocked the person all because they said something about her drinking. Like, I would love to see the list of blocked people from Katie Joy's channel. It, it would have to be like 30 pages long. And Sian, Sian is gone too. Just like blocking people left and right. Just in that little clip, she blocked at least two people. But I'm not hurting people. Steve has brainwashed you. Steve is also likely not doing mentally well. No, that piece of trash is not on here, honey. Well, Renee, I said I'll talk about it later. I can't add her back now, and I'm not happy with her right now, so. Know that piece of trash is not on here. I'm not adding her back on because I am unhappy with her. This is someone who is blatantly disrespectful to the people who are paying their bills. That's what I want you guys to really remember, and I don't think anyone watching this video subscribes to Katie Joy, but if you are someone who subscribes to her, be aware of who you are supporting. Educate yourself and make your own decision on, is this someone that I want to support financially? Because even if you're only watching the videos, you're still supporting whichever YouTuber you're talking about. But otherwise, I'm not gonna share any more details about, you know, what products we have or who we're gonna use because clearly you guys don't have boundaries. And so, um... You know, I don't know if it's that nobody has boundaries or if people are onto your antics and they're gonna do a little research of their own to see if you're lying. I think that's where it falls. I don't know who has enough time for this kind of stuff, but Tina, I'll cut you. If you are spending your entire day obsessing about me, 
I'm worried for your mental health. I'm honestly worried for your mental health. I'm worried for any of you in this group that you are this obsessive. Being overly obsess obsessive is a sign that you're not mentally well. Being overly obsessive is a sign that you are not mentally well. So what does that say for her digging to the center of the earth with Tati and her husband and her whole family tree and publishing at least 40 videos on Tati and saying horrible, horrible things about her and her husband, James. What does that say? I'm just asking. All right, you have changed. Okay. This is always what I've done. I've done the exact same thing, Angie. I have not changed. I try to be more balanced and less aggressive than I once was, and I've tried to dial it back, but I've not changed. I'm not a liar. I don't lie. I've never lied. Never. I'm not a pathological liar. I don't have a personality disorder. I don't. It's... Someone who comes onto their YouTube channel and says, I'm not a liar, I'm not a pathological liar, is probably someone who's been called out on their lies. Just um, just my opinion there. Why did you hand backhand apologize to Leslie? Shitty apology. It actually wasn't a backhanded apology. It was literally me recognizing what I needed to say. And no matter how I apologize to people, you guys always think I do it wrong. Would you have apologized to her if this hadn't happened? I'm calculated. Well, you guys always think I'm calculated and you always think I do things wrong. So, um, you guys see the deflection that she constantly uses. It's always, you guys think this, you guys do that. You guys like, I've never personally seen a YouTuber blame their subscribers so often for so many things. Moderators in chat, can you please keep people on topic and no longer have anyone talking about anything related to previous streams, please? Thank you. Um, I do want to remind you, all of you that are in the chat, that we do have chat rules, and that is staying on topic. And right now we're talking about John and Kate, and we are no longer talking about anything related to... Okay, I need to... Skinny, shiny, you are not... Like... Please stay on topic. You'll get removed from the chat if you cannot stay on You will be removed from her chat if you don't stay on topic. You know, I can speak to this from a YouTuber's point of view. I have recently been given the privilege of going live, and I absolutely love it. I need to actually go live more, but full-time job and making YouTube videos is a lot. If in my live stream my subscribers or my viewers, whoever's in there, if y'all are having a side conversation, go for it. I do not care. If I'm talking about a lipstick and y'all start talking about true crime, I don't care. Have a conversation. Talk amongst yourselves. Like, this is a positive environment. At least I try to make it that way. Why does it matter if someone's talking off topic, that is enough to get kicked out. That's insane to me. Right now. Do it. Oh, so you won't go live with me? Come on. Do it. Come on, Rocket. You had no problem typing those horrible, horrific, terrible things to me. Go and say it to my face. Come on, say it. Show your face. Do it now. Show your face. Show your face. She literally acts so childish. There's so many clips that I've seen where she just acts like a very immature high school girl, like trying to rile people up and get them pissed off. And so someone allegedly said something to her in the live. So she video chats them and is yelling at this girl to show her face and then ridicules the girl for smoking in her house. Like, I mean, okay, I don't smoke in my house. I'm not a smoker. But like, why are you feeding into this? So what if someone says something? This is the thing. She does not understand when to disconnect, ignore the messages, you know, if you want to ignore the criticism, more power to you. But instead, she throws like a whole book of matches on the fire 
and just keeps it going. You know, I think she enjoys being the villain of YouTube because it keeps people talking about her and it keeps people, um, you know, mentioning her name. I think that she is extremely immature. I will help everyone, you guys. Why are you trying to find everything to get mad at me about? What is with you guys? And it's this very much like crying victim again. Like, why are you guys mad at me? Why are you getting mad at me? What did I ever do? That is, you know, it reminds me of a form of like gaslighting where she's expecting people to feel bad for her. But again, like I said earlier, you're the common denominator. There's not just that many people that are bored and picked Katie Joy's name out of a hat and decided to talk about her. How come you were asked 22 hours ago about the court filing, but your source only confirmed with incorrect info? <clears throat> Maggie Morgan, my source is, I'm not going to talk about this anymore. Okay, so this is very, very, this reminds me of something that I would do in high school where I get asked a, asked a question that I don't want to answer or I know I'm going to get in trouble for, and she picks up her phone and like completely, I'm not going to say anything. My source is my source. Like maybe if you were not a pathological liar, in my opinion, people wouldn't come to you with all of these speculations and theories on what's really going on. And I heard on Twitter, you guys hate my teeth. So my teeth are scary. I am so sad that you think my teeth are scary. I also saw on Twitter, you think that I pull my hair out and that's why I have to put a Sharpie for my, um, I have to use a Sharpie to put on my eyebrows. Actually, it's really condescending voice that she does talking about how she uses a brow kit. You guys, this is so disrespectful to followers or subscribers. You're talking to the people who quite literally pay your mortgage and your car payment and put food on your table and you're talking to them in this condescending tone like they're pieces of shit. Where and when is that ever acceptable? Can you guys, um, can my moderators in chat please keep the chat on track? Um, I just don't want to, um, I want to really keep the, the um, topic onto what we're doing. I don't want any side conversations about other trials and stuff. So, okay, um, sorry about that. So again, she's telling her mods that people need to stay on the topic and we already know what happens if you go off topic. 20 plus years. I'm gonna go live with Erica and ask her about this. I wanna, I wanna, did she ask to go live? No, I'm gonna go live with her. She wants to be tough. Come on. I'm waiting, Erica. I'm waiting. I'm waiting, Erica. Erica, why aren't you answering? Were, Erica, were you one of the people that called my employee? Oh, Erica, you couldn't answer the phone. Erica. So then she tries to FaceTime someone else that she has an issue with. This is very repetitive behavior. It, it pretty much repeats itself through the cycle of this video, but we'll watch a little more. I already called the doctor. Go to the doctors. I already called the doctor, Debbie. I'm waiting on a call back from the doctor. I did a virtual appointment. Have you heard of those? You can send the photos in and you can tell them what you've done and what's going on with your finger. Yeah, that's what I did today. I did a video appointment today. But the pharmacy is closed. So it doesn't even matter. Because where I live, there's not 24-hour-a-day pharmacies. I live in a small town and pharmacies close at 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock or 6 o'clock. So she comes on here, some issue with her finger, someone says, why don't you go see a doctor? And she immediately goes into this defensive, very condescending tone. Have you heard of a virtual visit? That's what I did. Pharmacies aren't open. Uh, you know, they close at six where I live. Like, 
this is what I'm talking about. If someone ever talked to me like that, whether it was online or in my real life, I would tell them to f off. I am no longer supporting your channel. And she tries to act really tough when it comes to losing subscribers. But let's be honest, if she lost a massive amount of her subscribers, it's bad enough that her view count is already way down. You know, she struggles to break 12,000 views a video. If she lost a boatload of subscribers on top of that, she would be very upset. Let's be real. Um, and I wouldn't feel bad for her because this is how she talks to the people, her management team, her, her people who, you know, decide what her fate is on YouTube. This is how she speaks to them. It's unacceptable. Um, why am I always touching the left side of my head? Why not? Does it bother you? Does it bother you that I touch my body? Why do you always ask me questions about my hair? <sighs> Does it bother you that I touch my hair? So that's the last clip I'm going to watch because honestly, I can't stand the attitude and the voice and the way she presents herself. How do you expect people to take you seriously if you're consistently uploading, deleting, you know, doctoring your comments, blocking people? Like, to me, that is someone who is not standing on their own word. They are very um, scatterbrained when they are delivering their content. So why would anyone come to you and believe a word that you say? So anyway, guys, I really wanted to get this video out for you. I think I'm done with Katie Joy for at least a week. Um, you know, Amanda, Amanda Pants, she, you guys probably know who she is. She made a good point in her recent video and she's done too. You know, there's, there's only so much ignorance that you can take in before you just burn out. And I'm at that point right now with watching all of these shenanigans that Katie's doing. And again, I'm not saying that I'm better than any other YouTuber, but seeing this really gross, disrespectful uh, way of treating her subscribers really hit a nerve with me. And I'm pretty pissed off about it because I realized that people are coming to YouTube as a way to, you know, decompress or laugh or feel like they can relate to somebody. And if they choose to click on your channel and subscribe to you, you owe them respect, decency, um, you know, transparency, not lying. It's really not that much to offer to someone who is paying your bills again. So anyway, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave me a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.